How y'all doing? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. And here we are in the Vault of the Warrior, and we're going to take on Handsome Jack and the Warrior. You're a plague, bandit. You and your kind have corrupted Pandora with your greed and your hatred. It comes down to me to save this world from your kind. But I'm more than happy to do it. All right, some nice happy words from Handsome Jack, yeah. This is it. This is the big kahuna, the talent of God. Uh, end game. Uh, we have to kill Handsome Jack, and we have to kill this big badass boss beast called the Warrior. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to use weaponry that anybody can lay their hands on. I don't know what I'm doing here. And uh, by the way, <laughs> this is around. This is a practice run that I recorded um, in the morning while my wife was still sleeping. She sleeps in these days because she's off work she's on Christmas vacation so um, she sleeps until about 10 uh, and deservedly so because she gets up at the crack of dawn every morning to go to work and she's on Christmas vacation but I'm an early riser no matter what so I decided to get up early this morning and um, do some practice runs through this uh, this section here and this practice run I thought came up particularly good and I just happened to record it so I'm dubbing in the commentary afterwards okay so this is dub commentary that's what's going on with that and I'm just swapping out all my weapons here getting ready for um, this run here essentially I'm going to use the discharge anarchist to take down handsome jack okay it's a Vladov pistol. Anybody can lay their hands on a pretty good Vladov pistol at this stage of the game, and it will do fine. And also, the other thing I'm going to use primarily against Handsome Jack is Tesla grenades, okay? Anybody can lay their hands on Tesla grenades. And what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, just spam the whole area where Handsome Jack is. Because what's going to happen is he spawns a whole bunch of doubles, okay? So you're going to have your... Uh, this problem of trying to figure out who's the real handsome Jack and you'll be able to tell because he's the one with the humongous health bar and the humongous shield bar okay but at first glance you won't be able to tell who so you have to kill a whole bunch of them before you can zero in on the real handsome Jack and I figured the easiest way to do that is just simply spam the whole area with Tesla grenades and it pretty much wipes out all the doubles right away okay so that'll solve that problem then it's just a matter of zeroing in on Jack and killing him as quickly as possible. And here's the uh, fast travel station in this area. You can It's a one-way fast travel station. So you can only go out, but you can't come back in. The only way back in is to work your way through Heroes Pass again. Okay, so that's that. Um, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Hats and Jack, um, you got to kill him quickly. Because if you let him start running around, all kinds of loaders and turrets and whatnot are going to spawn and he's going to hide somewhere and it's going to be a big pain in the ass okay so you got to kill him quickly and for that I'm I should have uh, brought along my fireburst grenade I left it behind fortunately there's one there and I'm going to buy it just checking to see if there isn't a better one so but it's a homing fireburst so I lucked out so I got to buy that and that's the plan test the grenades wipe out uh, all the doubles um, go at his head hard with a Vladov pistol and throw fire burst grenades liberally at him and finish him off very quickly. And I'm about to do that shortly. The warrior. The warrior I'm going to do entirely with the buffalo gun. Anybody can lay their hands on the buffalo gun by doing the demon hunter mission in Lynchwood. And that's just a couple of videos back. So if you want to watch that, a couple of three videos back. This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter friends I said hey. This is a kind of a, an ammo chest, respawning ammo chest station. You can like It respawns every 90 seconds. You can get fresh ammo there. So I always open that up to see if there's some health there you can come back and, and grab in case you get into some big trouble. And now it's Handsome Jack time. Hey, you're right on time. Key's nearly ready. But before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm going to avenge my daughter. That's it. It's game on. First thing I do is here, I'm just showing you what I'm using Longbow Tesla. Okay. 
first thing I need to do is throw out my decoy. There's all the doubles. Spam the whole area with Teslas. Liberally. Just pepper them all around. And as you see, it wipes out all the doubles pretty much right away. Leaves the real handsome jack by his lonesome. I took down his shield. Once his shield is down, switch over to the fire burst. I'm not using the homing fire beat because that wouldn't be fair. And chuck out a couple fire bursts right where he is immediately. And this is always happens. A repair surveyor helps him out, so blow away the repair surveyor. Keep laying in those fire burst grenades and go at him hard. And you should be able to take him down real fast. He's almost dead, and he's dead. That's it, that's all. So Tesla, flat out pistol, and fire burst grenade. No! The key's charged! I'm not dying yet. <laughs> You're too late, Bandit! I win! <laughs> the greatest helium power Pandora has ever seen. And it's my control! And now... Warrior! It's warrior time. Holy shit, Slack, how do you kill this thing? Well, it's actually quite easy. First thing is a matter of positioning. You want to get yourself in the right position. And that position is right down near the map exit to Iridium Blight. And be careful when Lilith says that. Make sure you're, there's plenty of land around you. Because sometimes she tries to help you and she shoots you up in the air and tries to get you to high ground and inadvertently throws you in the lava. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the lava to clear here so I can get it back to the map exit to the Viridian Blight. Okay, just go right by that crystal is there. Go up the stairs here. And this is at the south end of the map. Okay, I'm going to show this in a minute. See? Here's the map, ex map exit to Viridian Blight. I'm going to show the, the map there. There we are. Right there. Okay? At the south end of this whole area. This is the best standoff point to take on the warrior. You're pretty much invincible here. Okay, and now I'm going to use the buffalo gun and go at him. Two critical hits spots on the warrior. One is in his mouth, as usual. All skags have critical hit points in their mouths. I'm just taking out this crystalisk here because I don't want him like you know, messing things up. But for the most part I'm gonna go straight at the warrior. That crystalisk is down. And the other critical hit spot on the warrior is his breastplate. What you have to do is shoot the plates off his breast and then it kind of reveals the molten white stuff underneath and once you reveal that you can shoot at that molten white stuff underneath and get better critical hits like you, I, I believe they're better critical hits than ones uh, in his mouth and now I'm putting on my sniper class mod because it will make my buffalo gun better and I'm still keeping on my high capacity shield uh, the amplify shield is not going to be a much use here Another thing I'm doing is I'm scoping before the warrior appears so as to get my, um, I forget what that skill is called, where, um, kill confirmed. I'm getting some great hits in his mouth there. Getting my kill confirmed skill charged up there, see the number 5 above the XP progress bar. Every time you do a certain amount of damage to the warrior, he goes in back into the lava. Get some crit hits here. All with the buffalo gun. Reloading. Now I'm scoping it before he appears. See, charge up my kill, confirm skill. Here I could decide whether I was going to go for his mouth or his breastplate. Later on, you should be see me get some shots on his breastplate. So I've damaged him enough again, so he has to go back down into the lava. This always happens. Do a certain amount of damage, he goes back into the lava. And as you see, he's like a third down already. Here, now I'm going to try to go for his press plate there. There we go. See, I've got revealed kind of like a molten, white molten pot bear area in his chest plate. And, um,. If you can shoot that, you can get great hits. Positioning is kind of awkward though. There, I got a crit.
great hit there. Waiting for him to come up again. We did do this all with a buffalo gun. I'm not even barely gonna even use up half my sniper rifle ammo. There's no need to empty out all your guns and use up all your ammo to take down the warrior. All you need is the buffalo gun. And um a power sniping skill build. And a little bit of know-how about where the critical hits are. I think here is I'm gonna get some good breastplate kills. See now it's got the white molten hot of his heart is exposed. I'm getting some good crit hits here. And nailed him on the way back down. And as you can see, you're pretty invincible here. I don't think he once took down my shield. Not even close. Under a little stress here, but the shield's holding up. Breaking a sweat here. There you go. Revealed his breastplate, getting some crit hits here. That's 16,000 damage there. I think I might be able to take him down in this one, if I recall correctly. One final shot him out there, and there you go. Or you're dead. <laughs> That's it. Beat the game. Thumbs up at the slack. Beating the game. Woohoo! And he drops a ton of loot. And then a ton more loot drops after you call in the moonshot. It's going to take me a while to go over all this. This is actually kind of a, a mood point here because I, I don't have any intention of doing the true Vault Hunter mode. I'm going to be moving on to other games after this. This is actually a really good find here. Is that the one? I found one Sniper class mod that this was ridiculous. Had like, you know, bonuses to three different skills, all of them which I, you know, was likely to put skill points into. Just going through the here. That's a nice flat off sniper. High fire rate, good damage. And it's not a burst fire. That's good. It's always a plus. Trying to clear up as much stuff as I can before I finally call on the moonshot and kill Handsome Jack because a whole bunch more loot is going to drop as soon as you do that. So and everything's going to be really crowded. And I do actually find a legendary after the second batch of loot drops. I forget what it is, but uh, at least it wasn't a TDR. <laughs> This is a really good rocket launcher. Good damage and uh, excellent fire rate. Any rocket launcher that has the angry prefix in it is a rocket launcher with a good, excellent fire rate. 
Now I'm just grabbing indiscriminately because I've got like, you know, room in my inventory. Call on the moonshot. And here comes a whole bunch more loot. Nice purple, but it was a tedious. Now I have to empty out my inventory again. No, 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 I can't. I like this. Not when I'm so close. And not at the hands of a filthy bandit! See, I could have saved Hi, Jack. this planet. Bye, Jack. Yeah. That's it. Sign our. See you in the funny papers. Finally over. Yeah, it's Good finally going, Vault Hunter. Why, right, thank you. you. Yeah, that's right. Don't now, you forget it. <laughs> get rid of that key. And we're coming up to the end of this video. Next video, I'm going to do all the looting, and then I'll roll the credits, and that'll be it. Uh, as for this video, if you thought it was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give your slacks there a thumbs up. Yeah. All right, that's it. Slack is out.